Hey guys, it's Gracie and welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, today we're going to be reviewing Melanie Martinez, Crybaby, and Portals CD and Vinyl. So first off the bat, we're going to start with Crybaby. Um, so the only thing wrong with the CD-ish is this plastic cover broke. Not even sure that I remember when. Um, and because it was so, uh, hard to tear off and actually get the little storybook together, it has teared. But once you guys see the actual vinyl, it makes up for it. So, this is basically, um, it would be open. I know it's kind of dumb to explain this. It would basically be like this when you buy it. So, we have the front, then we also have the back, which it has a little bit of scratches. I've had this six years. Um, so, yeah, very cute. Um, so, then we open the book, and it has a little storybook, which you will see more in, you'll see more in depth on the big one. Um, so, yeah, let me take out the CD. And we have this cry baby. I'm gonna take out the CD. I would play it, but I don't think that there's any need to. It's kind of getting dusty. I don't want to get it on the vinyl. So it's kind of it up close all the way, and then it's just it's just a normal CD. So, and then when you take out the CD itself, there's a message from Melanie, which it actually has a paper, which I'll show you more in depth on. So that is the CD itself. I find the vinyl definitely more entertaining. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back. And now, time for my fave, the vinyl. It's so huge after holding a CD. It is so huge holding a vinyl. And I think it's so pretty. So this is the front, you know, same. And then this is the back, which same you've already seen. It's just way better up front. So we're gonna open the vinyl and it has this cute poster of Crybaby, which actually is a blanket. I think it was on her um, website. Um, it was up for buy. I don't know if it is anymore. I don't think so because of portals. But this is the huge storybook. This is the huge storybook that I was telling you guys about. So, this is it in full glory. I'm going to read the pages to you. I feel like it was easier on the other one just to read it. But, yeah. So, back up for this one. This one's big. Saddest girl she has to be. Salty tears stream down her cheek. Her heart's bigger than her body. Her name is Crybaby. And in her perfect picture home, mama's drunk while daddy moans. Her brother always comes home stoned. She watches in her room alone. So I feel like my hand's gonna get in the way, but this is trying to get a comfortable position. This is the first two pages. I always wanna try to be careful with this because this is what I like most than that little fucking crap yeah so but it would be much easier to read from this because it's just a quick flip um i'm gonna go full out though all right let's put this back together but it is easier to read this because this is like a flip thing and those are so difficult anyway let's continue sorry about that got off track she watches mama sip a drink out of a sippy cup that's pink because of that, you never think she pass out under the sink. The carnival is where she fell for the first time on the carousel, round and round through the same hell she never gets under his shell. So, this is this page three and four. Very cute. She 
cried until then she could see that he wasn't even worthy of all her love and ABCs. So she spelled fuck you in one, two, three. She met a new boy and filled with hope. She said too much and always choked. So she washed her mouth out with soap so that he wouldn't pull the rope. Um, also, my water fountain is running. So if you hear water running, it's my water fountain. I think this works perfectly with that page. So now we're on seven and eight, page seven and eight. Going on. They rode their bikes so very slow. She wanted more as they got close, unscrewed his training wheels to grow into a two wheel bicycle. Her birthday was round the bend. She invited him and all her friends, which none of them did attend. Her happiness came to an end. This storybook is definitely much better than that other shitty one that I had, for sure. This one's very hard to treat it like a baby. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do without any wrinkles or any tears. A lonely girl so vulnerable to her how she walks alone. The bad wolf ice cream man had known and took her to his awful home. She got locked up and made a plan to kill the bad wolf ice cream man. He ordered her to make him snacks. Her cookies and milk made him collapse. Tagger It being um, my favorite song from the album. I'm trying to think of something to say in between these flipping pages. So yes, Tagurate is my favorite of the album. She escaped and was never the same. She swayed a boy who had been claimed and pacified all what's her name, not out of love, just played a game. One day she turned on the TV, Mrs. Potato on the screen, showing off her surgeries. She thought that her pain meant beauty. Got some very cool illustrations by Chloe. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that last name. Terasigony, I, I can't even say it. Crybaby sat and disagreed, and perfect, insane, and emotional she was. But she feels safe going to sleep, and there's no one else that she'd rather be. This one's a very delicate page, and since only that story by Melanie Martinez and then illustrations by Chloe I'm not even going to try to pronounce so that is the storybook itself and then when you open the storybook this page also comes with it this one also um, has a little mark in it unfortunately so this is the paper I'm actually going to read um, yeah I'm going to read it so this is um, all the produced and credits. Hoping I'm getting every one. So yes. And then this is her message. Which I'm going to try to read it fast. So. It's so important growing up to have people in your life who encourage your hobbies and your talents. My parents, brother, uncles, and best friends since kindergarten, Jackie are those people for me. Without them, I wouldn't have known that I could write songs, make art, and use those things to express myself. A big thank you to my grandma Lydia for being such an inspiration to me as an artist and just a human being. Ron, thank you for always pushing me and my ideas and for believing in me since the moment we met. Thank you to the best team ever, Debbie White, Jake Oatman, Craig Burke, and Giant Pittman. Thank you to the producers and writers who co-wrote these songs with me. I appreciate you all for rolling with my ideas no matter how unconventional they were. Thank you, Jeff, for being more than just an A&R guy. Thank you for being a real friend and actually believing in my vision and my music and for always letting me crash on your couch. Thank you to Julie Greenwald, Craig Coleman, David Saslow, 
and my entire Atlantic Records family. You guys are amazing and I'm so thankful for all your support. Thank you to my OG tour family, Mikey, Mike, and Miles. Even if we ever have to split ways, you guys are stuck with me for life. After three dollhouse tours, I basically lived with you boys and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to travel and play music with such talented people. Thank you to everyone who made me cry, broke my heart, made me angry, or make me feel anything at all. You guys have made songwriting therapy for me. And last but not least, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to my beautiful, crazy, talented, supporting, and amazing fans. You are all such an inspiration to me. You are the reason I work as hard as I do. You are the reason I am able to do what I love. I will always be real with you guys because I think it's important that people realize artists are human beings and not perfect Barbie dolls, even though we're in the spotlight. Sometimes I'm going to say things I don't mean out of frustration and I apologize in advance. Just know that I love all you guys and all your imperfections and I'm just as flawed, if not more than the next human being. All of you are so unique and insane in the best way possible and I promise I will never take any of you for granted. You mean so much to me and I hope these songs make you cry, scream, laugh, go insane and take your clothes off. Definitely have done that to me before. <laughs> this album is for anyone who feels like their heart is bigger than their body and anyone who considers themselves a bit of a crybaby. And at the end here we've got a little thing right there. I'm trying to show to the camera while trying to look at the camera. That little message right there. Um, and then also, I want to go back to the CD one real quick. Oh, never mind. I already mentioned it. It's inside the CD itself. So that is the vinyl. I'm going to have to clean this all up. So next, on to portals. I am currently trying to um, get a job. And when I get a job, hopefully I'll get enough money to um, save up for this in here see this is what i was trying to do it's so hard not to tear this up um i'll bet the credits are in there too so i haven't really gotten it out but i'm also kind of afraid to because i don't want to scratch it i also haven't even looked in here but this is the portal cd i forgot to show the back on the crybaby one but that is important and here's the back um, and then we open it up this is what we see so taking out the CD itself trying to be gentle with it we have this amazing design very cute and it's cool that she made it like that so where it spins around. So it's pretty cool. And then in the inside of here, which we'll see on the vinyl too, um, is this. But I'm pretty sure what's already, what's already in here, we'll see in the vinyl anyway. So I'm not concerned about that because I've already opened up the vinyl and stuff. So, so this is the CD. Uh, like I said, I don't want to tear up like I did the crybaby one. So here is the final. Super huge. I mean, it's it's very, very huge compared to the, C the CDs, which blows my mind. Oh my god, I forgot to show you the vinyls. Actual vinyls. I'll show you in the end. So, when we take this out... We are met with the same design when I opened up the CD itself. I'm pretty sure that that thing you take out is just, and I can even look it up on YouTube to make sure I have it right. But this is the credits to the songs. And on this, um, in Nymphology, it says, Transition produced by Justin Greenwood. And we know that Verde produced that. So Verde's name, Ver, Verde's name is Justin Greenwood. So when Melanie gets married, her name will be Melanie Greenwood. So I think that's pretty cute. Try to go down a little bit. 
to make sure I have all these in view. So we're gonna just throw that down there. And then we take out the actual vinyl and it is a red. It's a Target red. Um, I got this at Target. So let me just flip it around. So when this gets played, it is spin, it spins around. Which I don't really want to get out my record player, but this is it. It's very cute. And I never touch it on the actual thing. I always try to keep it on the outside because that's how you're supposed to treat a vinyl. Definitely don't. So now the only thing I have left to show you is the actual vinyl for Crybaby itself. So it has its own um, little pocket here. It has its own little sleeve. I think that's what they call it. This one got bent a little bit too. So I'm kind of sad about it. But this is the cute little pink thing. That's it. We take it out, and I was not expecting black to be the color. I'm telling you that right now. I was not expecting it to be black. This needs to be cleaned a little bit. This is Cry Baby. Then on the back, we have all the songs, which is cute. So yes, we just have a black vinyl, which I think is very cute. So I'm gonna put it back in the sleeve now. I have to box these, box these all up and get again and put them all in their thing. But I do plan to get after school and I do plan to get K through 12 when I get enough money, hopefully. So I can purchase those in the near future. I actually have enough money to get the vinyls, which I'm more worried about. Um. So I hope to get those in the near future, and I will be doing a, oh, great, <laughs> doing something on those. So, I tried to put this away, but it just came out the same. So, yeah, so this is, so that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm definitely very thankful and blessed that I have these in my possessions now, both of them. Um, when I got the vinyl, um, the Crab Baby vinyl, which I got the day before yesterday, I was like, wait, now I have both the CD and vinyl versions of Cry Baby and Portals, which I thought, which I thought was very, very cool. Yep, very blessed that I have them. So I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to go try to look up the Portals, um, CD review and see if, see what it's all about, but I'm pretty sure it's just the credits. Maybe it's song by song. So that's the only thing that I didn't ex didn't explore in this video with the vinyls and the CDs. But I don't think it's that important because it'll just be the same thing that the vinyl has. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!